Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays. It's fantastic to see you once again on another Twinkle Tip Friday video. It has been a wonderful week. It's been gorgeous outside. We've had great weather. Uh, I've done a lot of work outside. I'm getting a suntan. It's kind of good for me to, to well, not sit in front of the computer all the time. This week, this video that I want to talk about with you is geared towards understanding some of the, the file things and some of the uh, navigation that you should know about when you are beginning to map sequences or import sequences or create sequences. I want to share with you ways that you can navigate around an X-Lice and some of the files that you need. So stay tuned. We're going to get right to it. All right, guys, welcome back to the PPD YouTube channel. It is good again to have you here. And what I want to do today is I want to share with you some of the functionalities in X Lights in the controller tab that we you see here. Um, I, I and I, I want to give you some. Um, confidence in your ability to organize the files that you download whenever you're either uh, buying sequences or sharing sequences or getting them from the Google Drive and some kind of best practices to help you along this journey. There's a couple of things that I want to show you in my X Lights file in my X Lights folder and this is my layout nothing nothing crazy here uh, just a couple giant snowflakes is all and I, I've got my here's my controllers and you know I, I've got a layout right but more importantly what I want to show you is this on my desktop I have this saved if you're not good with file management if you get if you're challenged with organizing things X Lights has is filled with files and X Lights is also intelligent and it uses your folder to help find files if you keep things neatly together. So I highly recommend if you are using one computer to sequence on and run your show with, then I highly recommend using a show folder that's based off of your um, off your desktop, saved on your desktop, easy to find. Uh, when you download something, you're going to put it into there and so forth. If you're going to use a service that synchronizes uh, off of two different computers. Let's say you have a cloud service like Dropbox is what we use, uh, or you have OneDrive or something similar. Um, you may consider having a second hard drive in your computer or a partition added to your laptop that will allow you to have the same file structure across multiple devices. That's advanced. I'm, I'm not going to get into that, uh, but I do talk about it in some other videos, and you can look for that on the on our website. Um, so what I will recommend is open up and create a folder and store all of your X Lite stuff inside it. I know this sounds simple. If you watched last week's video, last week's video was fantastic whenever it comes to showing how to back up your stuff. Whenever you have your sequences saved in your folder, keep them in the same folder directory as your XLite's RGBFX file and your network file. XLite's will automatically back these up for you. Here's an example. If I go to backup, I click on this, you can see here's all the number of times that this file folder has been backed up. And that happens when it, it automatically happens because it's a preference setting in file preferences here in XLite's file preferences and you can go into backup. So this is in the other video, but I'm showing this to you now because if you're not keeping your files in your um, in your main X Lights directory, then it's not going to back them up. So be prepared. So let's go back into the show folder and show you a couple things that you should be aware of. So your two files that are most important in your X Lights layout are your network and your RGB effects file. These two, you want to put these inside your main directory of your X Lights show folder. That, then I have a couple recommendations, and this is uh, this is something that the developers have shared over time with me uh, is to create something called a download folder. And why would you create a download folder? Well, if you buy sequences, if you import sequences, this is the perfect way to organize them. Uh, if you uh, if you open up your download folder, maybe you get from a, a number of different sources and, 
and it's something that you want to do, you can go ahead and sort them out and uh, put them, uh, apply them to a folder or create a new folder that uh, would apply to where you purchased them from or where you downloaded them from. So you could have a folder in here, say from the Google Drive, or uh, you could have somebody's name here because they shared a sequence with you and you want to put it under their name because that's where it came from. But the other reason why the download folder was important was at one time we used to use a function called extracting our package sequence. And I'll give you an example here by going into the PPD download folder. Uh, right here, this is uh, one of the sequences that we created years ago. This is uh, Andrew's sister's, uh, here comes uh, Santa Claus. And what we used to have to do is we used to have to extract, and I'll do it for you on the screen, we used to have to extract the sequence. Once the sequence was extracted, you could close out of this and you could go back into your download folder and you could see an entirely new XLights uh, folder. And if we go into this, you're going to see, oh look, here's a folder structure. And inside here is, well, this is an XML. That's the actual sequence because back uh, in 2019 is when the sequence was created. It, XLights didn't have an XSQ file as your sequence file. It had an XML file as your sequence file. Either or works. Xlights just got smarter over time, so they've updated. If you wanted to see how I sequenced or the original sequencer sequenced your song, this is how you would go about doing it. We would go into Xlights and we would hit this change directory button. It used to say change directory, but now we have this new button. And this is why I'm bringing this up. We used to have to go in here, hit change temporarily, and we're in my show folder. I would go to my downloads, whoops, I would go into PPD, I would go into here, and Pro Layout. And then I would select this folder, and this is the way we used to have to go in and prepare a sequence. Now, is it important to pre prepare a sequence anymore? No. But this lesson is important if you want to know how your original sequencer set up their layout. Once, once you learn how they set up their layout, you can set up your layout exactly like theirs. And you can do it by coming down here. I'm in Windows. If you're in Windows, uh, then you can follow along. If you're in Mac, there's a way to do this. I don't know how it is. Uh, but if you right click over top of your, uh, nut, uh, your uh, Nutcracker, uh, it's your Xlights icon, and you can add another instance of Xlights. It's opening up on my screen over here. I'll pull it over in a second. You can open up a second instance of Xlights and you can have two screens open at one time. Um, this, is, this is rather helpful. See, this is my show folder because we only hit the change temporary button. And notice that your highlight here is in yellow. It's in a yellow color. That means that you're temporarily not looking at your directory, but if in your second, in your other instance of Xlights, here's your setup. So here's the old Xlights preview of our old pro layout. You can see the stars messed up, and there's a reason for the star being messed up. The developers had made changes to fundamentally how the star model was created in Xlights, and uh, at some point in 2020 or 20, uh, 2021, they they changed how the star model was was uh, rendered, and so we had to kind of fix it to make it look pretty again. But it happened to everybody, and they made the change, and well, we haven't thought about it in a couple years now. And this is why it's important for you to be able to temporarily change over into their directory because you're going to get all of the information from their folder, from their sequence, and you'll be able to duplicate it. You won't be able to import things, but you'll be able to duplicate it on your folder. So you could take, take a minute here and split screen down the middle here, and you could click on whatever they have here, and uh, you could click on what you have here and say, oh, I need to build the exact same thing over here. Now, as you get better with using Xlights, it's rather important that if you're using multiple sequence vendors, you're gonna realize every one of us does our own thing. We have our own way to do things, and that's the beauty of using Xlights. But the downside to using Xlights is, is we do our own thing, all of us. Because Xlights is so specifically customizable to our own uses, why wouldn't we? So it's important to take a moment to learn how to use this, tra this, this, this permanently uh,
and action. So it's important for you to be able to understand whenever you're on the controller tab, this change temporarily button allows you to temporarily change into another directory, open up a sequence, maybe look at how something was done. You can open it like here, I can open this up and you can see all of the sequencing stuff that was created by the original creator. You can see how they did certain things. Uh, you'll be able to access the effects and be able to kind of look at everything as they had done it on the layout. All right, so now you have an idea of how you can open up a sequence in somebody else's layout. You can change to their directory temporarily, and you can also do something else. You see that yellow across the top there. What that says is this is temporary. We said that once already. But now we have another button that we can use to change temporarily again. So why is this change temporarily again button helpful? Well, let's say you're working with this so-and-so sequencer and now you're going to switch to another directory with somebody else's sequencer that is completely different layout it's a completely different one than what you're familiar with so let's try that we'll go ahead and click this change temporarily again and we're going to back out of here we'll go into the uh, downloads and i have one in here and it's called um Bow Wow, I want candy, and it's on the Halloween layout. Uh, we'll go into the Halloween Pro folder, and we'll go ahead and select folder. And this is why it's really nice to have that change temporarily again, because if you're mapping or setting up from one sequence to the next, you could physically have this open in one layout. You can have two layouts or two X Lights instances open. You can have this one open here and go into the layout and say, oh, hey, this is the Halloween version. This is a Halloween layout versus the other one was a Christmas layout. Do I need to make some changes? Do I need to add some things? Maybe I have some bats here. What do I have to, what do I have, to have in mind that is going to get me um, uh, everything kind of set up for what's about to come from that sequence whenever I go to map it? So if we go back to the controller tab, and obviously when you're done kind of going from this layout here, let's say, let's say we're over here, we're setting up our layout, we're creating our groups that match the groups that are over from the groups from over here to, to match the groups that are here. And what you want to consider is whenever you're done with this, that's what's nice about hitting the controller button or tab and then clicking restore to permanent. If you click restore to permanent, now you should be back in your home layout. This should be your home layout. But you can see how having two instances of X lights open at one time, being able to look at theirs, their file structure by unpacking their sequence and using the change temporary buttons allow you to get over to that layout and be able to access either the sequence or just in, in general the layout. So it helps you in order to create a much better outcome for your sequencing. Remember folks, it's important to keep a good, solid, organized file structure for multiple reasons, as we talked about through the video, but not only that, the idea that you can use the change temporary button to navigate to other folders that are located in your uh, downloaded sequences, for example, your extracted files, if you can navigate to those, then you can open up in two instances and be able to say, hey, they have this in their layout, I can duplicate it in mine. And if I duplicate it in mine, then, then whenever I go to map my sequences, I'll have a far better solid mapping. And you can temporarily change again, set up another one, and temporarily change again to a different layout and set up their layout as well. So it's all up to you guys. I, I hope you found the information in this video helpful, and I hope it helped relieve a little bit of frustration and aggravation whenever it comes to X lights, because I know a spile structure is a hard thing for some people to just, you know, really, really grab a hold of. So if you like the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you never miss a Twinkle to Friday video or any of the other content that we put out consistently on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Guys, if you uh, appreciate the things we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club. We do an awesome new-to-the-source sequence each and every month just for club members. You get a choice of three. We actually did two new ones. It's the beginning of June, so we have three songs in there, two of them 
them are brand new and that's just for the club members and they get an awesome deal and not only that they get an awesome deal on PPD affiliate savings. We're now up to roughly 20 PPD affiliate uh, vendors who give our Sequence Club members awesome discounts on things they're already going to buy, like pixels, uh, moving heads, uh, you name it, Coro props. There's tons of things that, and and you can ask in our PPU Facebook group how many people have saved hundreds of dollars. Quite literally, the cost of their membership was paid for. They got basically free sequences just by joining the club and taking advantage of all the offers and sales offered by the PPD affiliates. If you like cool search just like this, consider going over to pixelprodisplays.com. Go to our store and look for our gear and you can pick up our uh, Pixel Me This shirt. That's this one. And then there's the red one. That's the Twinkles of Titan. Titans of Twinkle. <laughs> I always screw that up. Anyway, guys, that's everything from me. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and thank you for joining us again for another Twinkle Tip Friday video. We hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you in the next video. Take care, and goodbye for now.